Greetings people. If you're a musician, you will have seen a lot of posts on YouTube about how to get more fans, how to use Spotify, how to use Instagram, how to get more people to subscribe to your YouTube channel, how to get radio plays, how to get on blogs, how to get on various playlists and so on. Some from are British, quite a lot of them are American. So here's a few thoughts. Firstly, there's a massive difference between the American music market and the British music market. You might think they're the same, but they work on a different scale. Radio is different. Print media, blogs are a bit different. So I'm mostly going to focus on the British end of things. Two sites I've paid a lot of attention to are Damien Keys and Burstimo. Both of them say a lot of the same things. There is a consistency about what they say and the advice they give. So over the last few months, I have experimented with quite a few of their suggestions about how musicians should work to promote their music. I've looked at ideas for Spotify, for YouTube, for Facebook, and a few other things. So firstly, the good things. They have helped very much with our understanding of these different social media platforms. They are not the same as each other, they do different things. For example, Instagram, because it doesn't have links, is not a place for selling your music. It's a place for building relationships. It also works very visually, not with words. So you treat that quite differently from Facebook, for example, where posts with just words get quite a lot of traction. Video goes well on Facebook. YouTube obviously is video based and there's things that work very well and there's things that don't work so well in terms of getting shared with lots of people. So here's some observations of my experience of following a lot of the suggestions from these various online sources of advice. Start with Instagram. Instagram was something I hadn't used very much before. A young lady at a gig explained to me how to use it, which was very helpful. I followed the advice of Bastimo and Damien Keys and one or two others about how one should approach Instagram. It's very visual, video gets more traction than still images. So I've tried to put some kind of educational things about drums or instruments we use. People seem quite interested in that. A couple of little live clips just recently from gigs many years ago. Musical partner Louis and myself just talking about how we make music. All of this seems to go down well, but with a very small number of people. There is advice about how to use hashtags, the correct number of hashtags and the type of hashtags, and the fact that Instagram likes you to use different hashtags rather than keep using the same one. Our Instagram account is massively better than anything we ever did before. It has seriously improved and it has led to an almost zero increase in anything of any use to us. There's still a very small number of people seeing anything, very little engagement. I'm not quite sure at this point what we're achieving, although I'm quite enjoying doing it. Facebook's a tricky one. It likes video more than it likes just text, although often just text gets shared with a lot of people. It likes video that's hosted there. If I put a link to a YouTube video, it pretty much ignores it. One advantage of Facebook is that you can pay for adverts and it will put your video before a good number of people. We've done that. We've had videos that have been shown to six or 7,000 people and we get maybe 30 or 40 people watching the video and it leads to nothing. It doesn't lead to any extra downloads or any real engagement with people. The point about Facebook is that you, you look at your who it is who's looking at your adverts because you get a good amount of data about that and you figure out how to tweak them, how to adjust them, how to target the right people, the right age group, uh, the right gender, the right countries and so on. We've done that. We've massively improved the amount of engagement in one sense but it really doesn't lead to anything. YouTube is the one where we've had the most fun and the least positive outcome. I had a personal account and channel and they had videos for Thousand Yard Prayer and Secret Archives of the Vatican. 
small numbers of views over quite a long period. So the first thing I did was create a new channel for each of those acts with a really nice header, put in old videos that were good ones that would, that would work with the new approach, did a whole pile of new videos for new tracks, all of them seriously upping our game. I studied everything that they all said about how to do better thumbnails, I learned about how to tag things properly, how to use the correct words in the headers and in the descriptions that would be picked up by the YouTube engine in terms of sharing it with other people. And I'm very, very happy with both YouTube channels and it has led to almost zero subscriptions and incredibly embarrassingly low viewer numbers. I follow every bit of advice, nothing seems to work. Basically, on all the main social media we use, we're not achieving a lot in terms of numbers of listeners, numbers of downloads, numbers of streams, numbers of views of videos, which begs a question. Are we doing something wrong or is there something wrong with this advice? I don't think we're particularly doing anything wrong. We're aware of our demographic and we try and target accordingly and we try and adapt these various suggestions to match our people. But equally, I don't particularly think that there's anything particularly wrong with the message. I suspect the issue might be that all this very valuable advice from all these YouTube wizards is very much aimed at people who make mainstream genres of music. If you make country music or hip hop or any of the mainstream rock styles or pop music or R&B, all of this advice probably works. You have a chance of getting onto a playlist. You have a chance of being written about on a blog. People will add your videos to their video playlists. And I suspect that because what we do doesn't really fit into any mainstream genre, it touches the edges of several, but doesn't really fit. A lot of this very good advice just doesn't quite work for us. So I'm really keen to find methods of promoting our music and getting more listeners and more downloads and more engaged fans, because that's what we're really after, is people who engage with us and become part of the musical journey with us. What are the strategies that we should be using to achieve that? I don't know. We're doing a lot of the things that mainstream genre artists do, but we're having very, very little success. I don't think it's because the music is bad. I'm perfectly happy that the music we make is good. So it's got to be something about coming up with new strategies and I don't really know what they are. So if you've got any great ideas, email us, message us, leave comments below this video, get in touch, share your ideas with us. Thank you very much.